Hi, my name is Jessica Redstein and I'm a podiatrist with the San Antonio Orthopedic Group. Today I'm going to talk to you about some forefoot issues that I see a lot. Uh, people come in complaining of pain in their big toe joint and it's usually a bump on the side and that's called a bunion. And uh, what a bunion is, is this bone right here called the first metatarsal starts to kind of lean this way away from the second metatarsal and it forms a V. What that does is then pushes the big toe over. And so you'll see this big bump here, you'll, you'll get some redness and some irritation, and women have a lot of problems finding shoes, and even men, due to the bunion. What happens over time is the joint, instead of being nice and straight like this, starts to get out of alignment. You can get arthritis in that joint, and it becomes very painful and difficult to find shoes because your foot seems to be getting bigger. Some other issues we see are toes that curl and those are called hammer toes so you'll see the joint like this women get a lot of calluses and uh, irritation with certain shoes on the top of their toes and men as well sometimes instead of having a bunion on this side of the foot you'll have a bunion on this side of the foot and the same thing happens these two bones called the fourth and fifth metatarsals start to get out of alignment and they form a v that forces the little toe over and you'll see a little bump on the side of the foot now what's great about being a podiatrist and having foot problems is I can show patients my own foot and uh, I'm going to have you take a look to see all these problems I just described. So we're going to first point at what's called a regular bunion to most patients. That's a regular bunion. And then if you want to move my foot over here, if you want to point to the fourth toe which is a hammer toe, that's kind of that crazy ET looking toe there. And then the Taylor's bunion is right there. So I've got all these problems myself. And I'm going to show you some shoes. So when you have when you have four foot problems, it's it's difficult as a woman especially to find shoes that fit. And here is the no-no shoe. Do not use a shoe like this if you want to have comfort. This is a triangle and obviously a foot of uh, my type will not fit well in this shoe. This will cause pain. What you want to look for is something with material that's soft and kind of wide that matches the shape of your foot. And this is a nice shoe because it's all mesh and suede. Um, it shouldn't cause too many problems if you wear a shoe like this. Another shoe that in the medical field you'll see a lot of doctors and nurses and staff using is a Dansko type shoe or a clog. Um, Crocs makes these as well, but it's nice and wide. Uh, there are lots of other shoes that I could suggest if you come in to see me that have a nice wide toe box that aren't sneakers or um, what patients call my ugly shoes. Um, so you'll have to come in to, to see me talk about that. Here are some other devices you can use. You just kind of put it over the toe and that way it doesn't rub against your shoes. And we have these. Here's another one as well. just has a little gel pad. You just put it on and it keeps the shoes from rubbing. If you have any questions for bunions, hammer toes, tailor's bunions, come see us.